The next question was a question on the implanon next. I don't know how many of you have seen it. It is not as of now universally available in most in in in, in uh, available, but it's available in some centers. Like in Delhi, two three medical colleges have it. In different parts of India now, it's as a as a, a, a pilot project. It's being started. Hopefully, it will come now in a big way soon. But this is. the implant non next or the implant you can simply say and the molecule is eto norgestrel okay so the implant non next is eto norgestrel list two advantages and two disadvantages of this mode of contraception advantages are several it is very very effective in fact it is the most effective temporary contraceptive available okay two this it, another advantage is it is long acting another advantage is it is safe in breastfeeding women it is safe in women who have a history of thromboembolism so jahan jahan estrogen nahi de sakte you can easily give this um, contraceptive two disadvantages it requires it's a little painful it requires skilled skill uh, it's a skill that is learned for insertion and removal so insertion removal is difficult it causes irregular bleeding okay it can cause prolonged periods of amenorrhea it has no protection against sexually transmitted diseases any if you any of these if you may mention another advantage is it has a quick return to fertility within 24 hours of removal the patient quickly gets pregnant okay so any two advantages to the two disadvantages two complications associated with this procedure one is pain one is infection at the site of injection third is it can get displaced or it can go deeper inside if the if the uh, placement is not correct technique is not correct so it can get get displaced it can go inside the deeper tissue it can get lost that's why it's made of a radio opaque substance barium sulfate so you can find it but yeah pain infection displacement and getting lost these are a few complications how long is it effective for the implant non next is effective for 3 years the failure rate is less than 0.1% in fact it's 0.001% if you want to be more exact it is one of the best methods it's in fact it's more effective than permanent methods of contraception so that is about the implant non next since it's a new contraceptive so they're asking a lot of new contraceptives last oski they had asked about subcutaneous dimpa this oski they've asked about uh, implant